week 28 bump date. Um, so now that I am 28 weeks, I am actually now in the third trimester, which is crazy to think that I am almost done with this pregnancy. I'm in the home stretch now. I finished the first trimester, I finished the second trimester, and now I am on to the third trimester. So it's just crazy. It's making me a little stressed just trying to prepare for everything that is to come, but I'm really excited to be in the third trimester now. So this week, baby is the size of a cauliflower or the size of a large eggplant so getting bigger um, more about baby he is blinking now and some researchers say that babies start to dream at this stage um, which is really cool I would be really curious to know like what baby would even be dreaming about because it's not like he can see much or has experienced much so I really wonder like what it is that he would even dream about if he did dream but nonetheless that is really cool to know um, that my baby could be dreaming right now um, he's also working on you know moves such as coughs hiccups um, you know inhaling and exhaling getting those lungs ready so he's just working hard in my tummy right now symptoms this week i think my main symptom this week is just how tired i am um, i'm starting to go to bed earlier and earlier i want to take naps throughout the day um, so i'm definitely getting that sense of tiredness back and then also um, i've been having trouble staying asleep at night still um, this morning I woke up at 4 a.m. Baby was kicking like crazy and I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been dealing a lot of times of um, getting woken up in the middle of the night and not being able to sleep. You know, I'll toss and turn, I'll go on one side, then I'll roll to the other side and back again and I just can't get comfortable. Um, I will notice sometimes at night um, my, my hips will really hurt. Um, even if I have a pillow between my legs, it's like hit and miss whether my hips will hurt or not. Um, and so that's kind of annoying to deal with. Um, I have been getting some leg cramps here and there. Um, so I have to be really careful about stretching my legs and doing it like really slowly. Otherwise it'll bring on a cramp really fast. I've also noticed that um, when I switch from side to side at night trying to get comfortable, when I switch to the other side, I'll, I'll hear all these creaks and cracks in my bones and my pelvic area. So it's not the best sound to hear, but but, you know, I guess it's all part of pregnancy. I do notice that I'm pretty hungry a lot. Um, I'm always wanting to snack on something, always wanting to eat. Um, I'm trying to keep, you know, my weight steady and not gain too much. Um, I weighed myself the other day and I think I weighed 140. So um, I'm in a good range. I'm just trying not to overeat, um, especially because sometimes I'll overeat and then I will feel nauseous. Um, and I think it's because my stomach is just so tiny because the baby is taking up more and more room. And so it makes me feel nauseous. Um, last night I woke up, you know, at 4 a.m. and I was also really nauseous. And I don't know why, if it was just because I had a really big dinner or just random nausea now that I'm in the third trimester. I don't know, but I was definitely not feeling good last night. Baby is still moving and kicking like crazy. Um, I definitely notice him uh, become, he has become a lot more active lately um, in the past couple weeks and I feel him constantly all the time. Um, there are times when he doesn't move and of course he's sleeping, but most of the time throughout the day I do feel him move. Um, and I've been feeling him hiccup a ton more lately. I haven't really been feeling him hiccup all that much. And even now when I do feel him hiccup, it's very slight. So it's very hard for me to like focus and um, feel those hiccups, but I do feel them. And Anthony for the first time actually felt the hiccups himself. Uh, we were just sitting on the couch the other day and baby's having the hiccups. And I don't know if that's normal, but my baby has 
has the hiccups for like minutes. Like it's not just like two or three minutes. Like he'll have it for like 10 minutes straight. And I don't know if that's normal or not, but it's hilarious. Um, so anyway, we're sitting there and baby's having hic hiccups for a while. And I turned to Anthony and I was like, hey, he's got the hiccups. Do you want to feel him? And he was like, sure. So I put a, his hand on the, you know, right where the hiccups were and he felt them. And he was like, wow, that's so weird. Um, so kind of creeping Anthony out, but he was really, you know, excited to experience that. Anthony has been doing great so far. Um, he always has his hand on my belly. Um, he's constantly giving the baby kisses all the time now, which is really sweet. Um, so he'll kiss my belly or he'll say, you know, I love you, baby, or he'll go to work and he'll say, bye, baby, you know. So it's definitely a lot more involvement from him. He's being really sweet to me. Anytime I don't feel well, he's always trying to make me feel better. Um, he is, he's just being really, really sweet, really caring. Um, it's like dead of winter right now, it's January. And so we've been getting a lot of ice and snow lately. And so Anthony's been really sweet. And anytime we go outside, he doesn't let me walk anywhere without him holding my hand because he doesn't want me to fall. Um, or he'll like drop me off right at the door because he doesn't want me to have the chance to slip and fall. So it's really sweet how caring he's being. Um, and hopefully he can continue this after the baby is born as well. <laughs> Felix has had some interaction. Um, Felix is my cat. So he's had some interaction with the baby as well. So Felix is a lap kitty and he loves sitting on me. He loves laying on me. And a lot of times it'll be very close to my belly. And so one night I was sitting on the couch and Felix was sitting on me and he was sitting kind of higher up, almost like on my belly. And the baby kicked Felix right where he was sitting and my cat like got up immediately and was like looking around like what was that and then he like jumped off and ran away so a baby has already started to make his impression on Felix and I think it's really cute <laughs> I've been trying to eat a lot um, a lot healthier nowadays um, and so I've been having a lot more vegetables. Anthony um, will make me vegetables and I'll dip them in ranch. And then I'll also have like a little fruit parfait and I'll have a bunch of different fruits in it and some granola and some yogurt. So I've been trying to eat healthier, although I will pair it sometimes with a cookie here and there or I'll go out to eat and get, you know, fast food or a burger or something. So I can't eat healthy all the time, but I think I am doing better um, now that we're getting towards the end of this pregnancy. I have noticed um, just my torso getting bigger um, just like sitting right now it's hard for me to like sit up straight and so I'll kind of hunch and lean over and like my boobs will like touch my sternum my torso and so it'll almost be like painful like there's no room <laughs> I don't know it's kind of hard to explain um, but it's really hard for me to hunch over now so I have to lay back whenever I'm sitting down or sit up straight so that my boobs aren't like putting so much pressure on my torso um, so I'm definitely noticing that I'm getting bigger so um, this week since I hit my 28 weeks I had my next doctor's appointment and this doctor's appointment had a lot going on. Um, unfortunately for me, it was a lot of me getting stabbed with needles. Um, and so the big thing with this week was my gestational diabetes test. So um, to take the test, um, you have to drink uh, this really sugary drink and then you have to wait an hour and see if your body can you know, absorb it and create enough insulin um, to make sure that you don't have have diabetes um, and so uh, they check it by drawing your blood after an hour and seeing where your levels are at my doctor's office was really awesome and I've heard a lot of people where they have to go into the lab or into the doctor's office and take the drink there and then sit for an hour in the waiting room and then get their blood drawn. But mine gave me my drink to take home. Um, they gave me at my last appointment, I had the choice between orange or fruit punch. And so I chose fruit punch. And um, I just had to drink it 45 minutes before my appointment and then they would draw it when I got to my appointment. So it was much easier, much more convenient. So I took a little video, I'll put that in right here. 
Hi guys! So I'm probably just gonna put this in my weekly pregnancy update video, um, but I just turned 28 weeks today and I have my next doctor's appointment in a little bit. And today, since I'm 28 weeks, is my gestational diabetes testing. And so I just wanted to give you a look. My doctor's office actually gave me um, the bottle um, beforehand so that I don't have to sit in the office for an hour. So I can drink it at my home, wait and, like 45 minutes and then head to my appointment and they'll draw my blood there. So I just wanted to give you a peek at what it looks like just so in case you were wondering or you have a test coming up and you were just wondering what it looks like, here it is. Okay, so here is the drink. Um, as you can see, it's, it's kind of small if I just put my hand next to it. Um, that's how big it is. So it's small, it's like a little water bottle drink, um, but it's definitely not water. Um, and so I got the um, fruit punch flavor, and this is just kind of what, it, well, at least what it looks like from my doctor's office. So it says Easy Dex 50 BVO free, and then um, oral glucose tolerance beverage. So, and then it just talks about what's in it, you should refrigerate, read carefully, and just directions and things like that. But it looks like water. It's not water. <laughs> it's fruit punch flavor. Um, hopefully it doesn't taste too bad, um, but here goes nothing. So I'll let you guys know afterwards what I thought about it. So that's kind of me showing you the bottle. Um, I drank the drink in about five minutes and it was really yummy. Um, it was definitely really sugary, but I love sugary drinks, so it was not bad at all. It tasted just like fruit punch. It was yummy. I could have had more of it. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I definitely recommend the fruit punch if um, you like fruit punch flavor. I think the orange would have been fine as well, but hey, I, I don't know. It, so it tasted great. Um, I did fine with it. I didn't feel weird after it at all either. I know some people were saying they felt faint or they puked afterwards or, you know, what have you. I didn't have any of those problems. Um, I know if you do puke afterwards, you mess up the test and so you have to redo it. Um, so try not to puke if you can. Um, but I didn't have any problems with that. So um, I drank it and I didn't have to fast beforehand. I know some like you to fast and some don't. Mine said um, they didn't care if I fasted or not, so I didn't, um, but they did strongly recommend that I stay away from any foods that were high in sugar or high in carbohydrates, um, you know, the day of the test. So I did try to stay away from foods like that. So I took the test, it was yummy, it was fine. Um, and then I went to my doctor's appointment and um, I got there and um, they asked me what time I finished the drink, so I told them. And so that way they knew to draw my blood at exactly an hour later. And then they took me back and they took my weight and they took my blood pressure. And last time I went to the doctor's office, um, when they took my blood pressure, it was kind of high. Um, and so I was kind of curious to see where my blood pressure would be this time, but this time it was much more normal. So it's good to see like I, I'm not looking like I have preeclampsia or anything like that. So my blood pressure is back to normal, which is great. Um, and then um, I went in my room and waited for my doctor. My doctor came in and uh, we listened to the baby's heartbeat on the fetal monitor and baby's heartbeat was 148. So um, much more lower than last time. I don't know if you remember, but last time I went and we listened to the heartbeat, it was 160. So it's dropped and I think 148 is more in the normal range. So not that 160 was um, cautionary or anything like that, but um, it's just better to know that it's in a more normal range now. Um, so she found it no problem. And she also took my, you know, fundal height with the measuring tape to make sure that baby was growing appropriately. I forgot to ask what I was measuring. I'll have to ask next time. Um, but she didn't say anything other, like otherwise, or to give me concern or anything like that. So I'm assuming it must have been around 28 since I was 28 weeks. Um, she asked me if I had any questions and um, after that um, was the fun part because I got to get shots. So this week I got a shot. I had to get one shot in one arm because I have um, negative, I'm a negative blood type. I have um, a negative blood 
and um, Anthony has positive blood and so I had to get a, a shot so that my antibodies don't attack the baby. I believe I have to get another shot after the baby is born as well, so yay! And then I got another shot for the Tdap vaccine, which is to protect me and the baby from whooping cough. Um, I believe the baby doesn't get the whooping cough vac vaccine until like two or three months. And so this way um, I can pass those, uh, the vaccine onto the baby and prote protect it for a little bit until it get, it's old enough, until he is old enough, sorry, see I still keep saying it, until he is old enough to get the shot himself. Um, so they gave me the shots and ow, it really hurt. My nurse told me that the Tdap one really stung, but um, from what she told me and labeling each one what it was, the RH negative shot hurt a ton worse. It hurt really bad. It stung really bad going in, and then my arm actually bruised from it. Um, I think it's still bruised from it as well. Um, and so, of course, both of my arms were really sore, but it actually wasn't too bad. Um, I think by the next day my arms like I didn't I didn't feel them and I didn't feel like the shots like where they went in or anything so it wasn't too bad but I was hurting and it did not feel great but you know it's all for the baby so it's worth it um, and then after that they um, took they drew my blood which I have a bruise from that as well so I was just feeling all banged up and bruised but they took my blood and I apparently have great veins so the nurse was really happy about that um, and I scheduled my next appointment which I was wondering if my appointments were gonna start um, to be every two weeks now that I'm you know almost into the 30s uh, week wise <clears throat> but my doctor said to schedule it another four weeks out. So my next appoint doctor's appointment is not until um, I will be 32 weeks pregnant. And then I believe after that, then I will start the two week visits. But um, I'm thinking, I mean, I would think it'd be just kind of silly for me to go every two weeks anyway, just because I really don't have, there's nothing concerning about me or my pregnancy or my baby. So why would they need to see me more often? I just think that's kind of silly. So I'm happy I don't have to go back for another four weeks and um, everything went well, everything went well. My doctor's office is really nice because they set up like an online health portal. So you can like go online at any time and like access your health records and um, your re test results from the doctor's office. So I believe it was the next day that I already got my test Test results for my gestational diabetes so I looked it up and I don't have gestational diabetes Woohoo! bring on the sweets <laughs> um, I didn't think I would, ha I would have gestational diabetes um, you know I'm fairly uh, at a good weight um, I'm young uh, nobody in my family has diabetes I just didn't think it was gonna be a problem and I was right um, I passed the test and so I don't have to worry about that, which is great. Um, I'm sorry for any of you that do have to um, take the three hour test next because you failed the one hour one, but I have heard of a lot of people failing the one hour test but passing the three hour test. So uh, don't stress out too much if you did not pass the one hour test. But I did pass, so I'm happy about that. Um, I was. I would think it'd be a big pain to be tested and test positive for gestational diabetes just because you have to change your whole diet around and you have to test your blood all the time. So I'm glad I don't have to do that. Um, another exciting thing this week, um, Anthony's parents for Christmas bought us uh, the crib that we picked out and put on our registry. Um, and so they came this past weekend and brought the crib up. It was in a huge box. Anthony and I have very small cars. Um, and so we wouldn't have been able to fit it in our cars and Anthony's dad has a truck. So they came and brought it up and they actually helped us put it together. Um, and so I'll show you a video of that right here. Hi guys, so I'm in the nursery right now and I wanted to show you a little update of some progress that we have started. I'm so excited to say that we're actually starting to work on the nursery, it's so exciting. So here is our nursery right now and as you can see, we have our crib. Our crib is all put together. Um, this is from Babies R Us. I believe it's the Oxford 
baby furniture style. Um, and Anthony and I just really liked the color of it um, and the design, the, the headboard we thought was really cute. Um, Baby's R Us has a ton of different nursery furniture to choose from, but this is just the one that we went with. So here it is. Um, it didn't take too long to put it together, but it did come in a huge box. Um, but I'm so excited and I love it so much. The stain is really cool on it um, and it's kind of different on each one of the pieces. Um, and so I really like it a lot. And then um, here is the crib mattress that my grandparents got us um, for Christmas. So we put it in there. Um, we're keeping the bag on it until we get the sheets and things from the baby shower. And to keep this one, Felix, he's not even looking at me, to keep him from um, getting in and putting his black hair all over the crib mattress. So the really cool thing about this mattress is that it has one side for um, baby and then if you can read here it just says simply flip over for toddler. So it has a baby side and a toddler side which I thought was really cool. Um, so yes it doubles as a crib baby crib mattress infant mattress and a toddler toddler bed mattress um, and this bed can full can uh, be rearranged to make it into a uh, toddler bed and then eventually into a full bed so it is able to convert you would have to buy the conversion um, tools to make it that way um, but it's really cool to know that you can change it um, Anthony and I aren't really sure um, you know what we're gonna do with it I kind of think we're just gonna leave it as a crib because obviously we're gonna have a lot more kids we're not just gonna have one and then we'll just buy you know other beds for the kids as they get older um, I also put this in the crib this is the bedding that's gonna go in the crib and as you can see we're going with a bear theme and I just love it so much we have gray bears and blue bears and here you can see it on here um, polar bears and brown bears. I just love it so much. So um, it's really cute. And um, once we get, like I said, the sheets and things like that, we can put this um, and start to decorate the crib and things like that. So that's kind of all we have right now for the nursery. Um, we did paint it. Um, this is the paint actually that we did uh, when we first moved into the house and first painted the whole house. We were thinking about repainting it but then we discovered that the paint that we ended up picking out was almost the exact same shade as this paint that is in here so we're just gonna leave it how it is and less work for us it does need a couple paint touch-ups which we're gonna do but other than that's pretty simple um so yeah this is all i can zoom out or back up here so like this is, you know, the front of the room. So the, the crib is literally all we have set up right now. Um, we still need like curtains for the window. Um, we have like the lamp on the ground because we don't have the dresser yet. You know, just different things like that. Um, this box that Felix is in, in front of is our changing table. So this is another gift that my parents got us. And the changing table actually goes on top of the dresser. Um, and so we're waiting on the dresser to be delivered and then we will put this changing table together. And then as in here in the closet is just where I've been putting all of the gifts that we have been getting for baby. So it is a lot and they used to all be where the crib was and then obviously I moved them so we could set up the crib. Um, and I'm just kind of waiting on the dresser and I need to wash them all before I can like hang them up here. Um, and so we're just kind of putting it all right in here. So we've got clothes, we've got stuffed animals, um, we've got mon a monitor I got on like Black Friday on sale, um, we've got a quilt, diapers, um, we have a little lamp, so we've got tons of stuff for baby. I got a ton of free samples from my doctor's office, so um, I just wanted to show like this is where we're at right now. It's not much, but hey, I'm only 28 weeks and this is actually really exciting. So I just wanted to show you guys here is our crib. So I'm super excited that we have the crib together. I just feel like it makes it all more, all the more real. Um, and it's really cute. I love how it's gray. I love the stain. I just, I love it. 
But yeah, I was super excited to put it together. It didn't take too long at all. Anthony's, Anthony and his dad did all the work and I just kind of sat and watched. <laughs> um, but it went great and I'm super excited that it's up and it's making me feel better. I am definitely getting kind of into that nesting mode a little bit where I just really want the nursery to be all figured out and set up and everything. So I'm really excited for that. Um, my parents did get us a dresser to go um, in the nursery and so we're waiting on that to be delivered and so I'm really excited for that to come because then I can start organizing and putting things away and things like that. Okay, so now I will show you guys my 28 week belly bump. Okay guys, so here is um, the belly with the shirt on and then if I take it up, oops, this is kind of like a baggier shirt so you'll have to just bear with me for a second. Um, so anyway, here's my belly from the side, here it is from the front, my belly button is almost an Audi, and then, oops, here is my belly from the side, um, so, um, I definitely feel like my belly's getting huge, I definitely have some stretch marks here, um, so I've been trying to put some lotion on them to help them go down, but my belly is definitely getting bigger. Um, I have noticed sometimes it'll get really hard, um, and uh, other times it'll be more soft, um, but most of the time now it gets pretty hard. Um, and I have noticed myself start to waddle a little bit when I walk, just at certain times, but other than that, we're doing good. Okay guys, so I think that's all for this week. Um, again, I'm starting the third trimester. I'm hoping I don't get too many more, you know, negative symptoms. Right now I'm feeling pretty good other than my hips sometimes hurting and getting really tired really easily. But other than that, I feel really good. So I'm hoping that it stays that way and that, you know, I don't get too many negative symptoms as um, in the weeks to come. So we'll see. Um, but definitely stay tuned for next week and I'll have a new update for you on new symptoms and, um, we'll see how big baby is next week. So stay tuned, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Thanks guys. Bye.